Guys, what's up? Kirby Smith, Lightspeed Construction. Happy Cancer Awareness, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. We are actually jumping on the golf course this afternoon to play in the Guani Golf Match Cancer Fundraiser. But uh, before I do so, I wanted to get you guys a quick eyes on on this property that we are inspecting today, this apartment complex in West, Nor uh, West uh, Knoxville. It's a membrane roof. This is TPO with a couple of interesting pointers. It's got ISO board, insulation board, which is going to shape. You guys have probably heard me talking about ISO board shaping the roof to drain. It's got ISO boards over it that do shape. And then it's got an older roof uh, below that. It's a tar and chip or tar and gravel roof of some sort. We cord it, but it, it doesn't really matter. And then below that's a material called Tectum, T-E-C-T-U-M. Now, Tectum is an acoustical ceiling that they decided sometime in the 1980s, I think, when all those beautiful uh, uh, building materials started coming out that we all love, like press board and gutter guards built into the gutters, cheap metal roofs, all that stuff. But Tectum was one of those. And um, we've got a section or two that is holding water. It is sagging and ponding water. Like this, for example, you can see on this, this is another structure. It's got quite a few ponding water sections. Um, the Tectum is very expensive, number one. It's used as the ceiling number two and a part and parcel to piece the tectum together um throughout the entire structure so like say for example this section might be bad at tectum but this is okay but that's bad um we've had a vendor come out and make those suggestions hey you need to buy tectum you need to replace the tectum i walked over this section and i'm not guaranteeing that putting 220 pounds of weight anywhere in here even though this is sagging it could be bad um but to withstand the 220 pound test here doesn't necessarily mean this roof has to be good. But as you can see, I'm standing in a, a low, low, low spot, a sink of the roof that we were beginning to wonder if it might need a tectum replaced. And although the, the deck of the roof isn't perfect, I, I think this is okay. You just saw me walk through this puddle, this pond. And I can tell you that, you know, right here, we've got a high spot. This is, this is kind of maybe raised because, um, you know, the tectum sunk or the rafter of the roof dipped or something like that. I just would hate to see this particular complex spend a ton of money trying to replace tectum and not get water off the roof. You know, maybe not, maybe not really resolve any problems. The tectum decks are a problem that will need to be resolved another day down, down the line, right? Um, you can see that this has got standing water everywhere. Um, I, I think probably what, I know there's some leaks in this building, probably what needs to occur and, and what what this, this ownership group should consider would be coating uh, at least this roof to take a look and see if they like the solution. Coating this this whole roofing, um, this, whole, this whole building. Take a look at it. Let's see if we like that. Coating can last up to 10 years. Now the Tectum might still begin to turn and, and have problems. We just don't know what it's gonna do. But we know the Tectum's real expensive and it's not a great roof deck material. And so, you know, what we can say is that um, a roof coating's inexpensive. It will resolve roof leaks. Um, it'll adhere well to this, this membrane. It's still got a bunch of bite in this membrane. The metal is real good. The edges are real good of this roof. There's no substrate issue with the membrane pulling up. I haven't felt any real bad rotten spots. Yes, we will not eliminate this ponding water, these puddles uh, with the coating, but it would be cheaper than doing some sort of a membrane layover. And to talk about removing all the tectum, basically you're talking the entire top of the building off. So, you know, maybe 20 years down the line when the roofs really start to sag or fail, talk about adding a second story or a third story to these structures. That would be a pretty good solution, something to take a look at. once. Once this rehab that's here is, is needing turned, um, maybe adding another another floor, another level to these. That would be a good game plan over the next 20 years to help rehab these buildings. But right now, let's just limp them along. Let's see what a roof coating looks like. And we're gonna mention Aldo coatings on this property. And we're gonna mention it to the associates here in the front, our front end friends, and, and maybe kind of even get a chance to talk to some of the some of the folks who sort of look at the, the assets and make decisions on that and see if this is a spec they want to consider. Guys, my name's Kirby Smith. Happy, happy Breast Cancer and Cancer Awareness Month. Definitely repping out the pink today. Have a good one, guys. Hopefully play good golf this afternoon. See y'all later. Have a good weekend.